So during the screencast, we're going to look at one of the cognitive explanations of gender development, and that is Kohlberg's theory. So by cognitive explanations, what do we mean? So we look at how children's th um, thinking of gender develops. Um, gender identity results from children actively structuring their own experiences, so they're not just passive um, kind of looker honours of behaviours. Uh, and as I've said there, social learning theory would suggest that we are more passive. Cognitive explanations have that more um, active element. So Kohlberg's theory. Um, Kohlberg proposed uh, that a child's development of gender develop develops over time and it's through exploration with the world and he said that this develops in three stages so the first stage is gender labeling stage and that's at two to three years old the second stage is gender stability st stage and this is at three to five years old and the third and final stage is gender consistency or gender constancy those two words mean the same thing and that is at about six to seven years old so let's have a look at those stages in a little bit more detail. So gender labelling, as I said, two to three years old. They are able to label their own sex and also the opposite sex. Um, and they're able to judge others' sex on external features. So they might look at what they're wearing, they might look at their hair length. And um, they don't understand that gender's fixed, so they don't realise that boys become men. And they might change the label if the external feature changes. So you've got the picture on the right hand side here. So it says Alison is two years old. She knows she is a girl and she likes dressing up in fairy outfits. She likes wearing dresses and is able to identify a boy by his short hair. So she likes to wear dresses because she understands the label of females works with that external feature of dresses. So the second stage is the gender stability stage, a little bit older now, so three to five years. And the children realise that gender is stable over time, so they do realise that boys will become men and girls will become women. However, they don't yet realise that gender is consistent across all situations. So what I mean by this is they might think that males would change into females if they engage in female activities. So for example, if a, um, if a girl is wearing... Uh, if a girl has short hair, for example, um, they might think that that girl has changed into a boy. Um, you can see the picture on the right-hand side at the bottom. So by the age of four, uh, the girl realises that when she grows up, she'll be a lady. When I grow up, I'll be like my mummy, she says. So she's realising that gender is stable over time, but they haven't got that consistency across situations yet. So gender consistency or gender constancy stage, and this is a little bit older, so six to seven years, they realise that gender is constant across time and situations. You'll remember back to the stability stage, that was just gender is constant over time. This is also related to situations. So they have now acquired what we call gender constancy. This is when they learn a gender appropriate behaviour, and gender appropriate behaviour becomes more important as they know that their gender will not change. So without looking at this video or your pre-reading, make sure that you can explain what is meant by a cognitive theory of gender development, explain what occurs at each of the three stages, and give an example of something which the child can and cannot do at each stage.